All right, this is problem 11122. It's on page 49. A belt moves over two pulleys at a constant speed V0. Knowing that the normal component of the acceleration of the portion of the belt in contact with pulley B is 100 feet per second squared, determine A, the speed V0, and B, the normal component of the acceleration of the portion of the belt in contact with pulley A. All right? So we know that the normal acceleration of V is 100 feet per second squared. We're supposed to find, so that's essentially the given, we're supposed to find, and there's a figure there with some dimensions, so technically we're given more than that, but hopefully you're looking on in the book. Uh, we're supposed to find the initial velocity and the normal acceleration on pulley A. Okay. All right. Well, they gave us a normal acceleration. What we know about normal acceleration is that it's related to tangential velocity as follows. Right? It's related to the tangential velocity of something. Let me, let me sketch the figure. I think it's going to be helpful to have it on the board. Uh, let's see. This is pulley B. It's pivoted here on ground. Uh, the belt comes around like this and then around another pulley, which I'll draw in a moment. But the radius here is one and three quarter inches. The larger pulley also pivots on ground and has a radius of 1.25 inches and I'll draw its actual point. So it's five three quarters of an inch. So this is A. And when they've told us the normal acceleration on B, what they're doing is they're just telling us how any point on this wheel is accelerating in order to stay on the outer rim of the wheel, right? Because they've essentially related the belt speed to the tangential speed of the pulley. So really all we have to do is rearrange this equation and say, well, then the initial velocity, which would be the tangential velocity, uh, is equal to the square root of the radius of curvature times the normal acceleration. So what that means then is V0 is square root of 3 quarters of an inch multiplied by, well, of course, they would give it to us in feet per second, so let's see. Um, Let's just multiply by one foot per 12 inches. That'll get rid of the 12 inches. And then multiply by the normal acceleration on B, which is 100 feet per second squared. Okay, so please plug that in your calculators. And let's see what you get. I usually hear the calculators come out and I didn't hear a thing. You guys dead after the last problem? Yeah, 2.5 feet per second. 2.5 feet per second. Good, that's what I got. You're giving me confidence. Two and a half feet per second. So there's the initial velocity uh, of the belt. Now, Okay, uh, they didn't tell us anything, I, I misread it. I was thinking for some reason that they gave us a tangential acceleration as well to deal with, they didn't. We don't know if the belt is speeding up or slowing down or remaining at constant speed. Turns out it doesn't matter because the only other thing they want is the normal acceleration uh, of the belt on A. Okay, so what is its rate of acceleration inward and that should be towards the center of the curvature, which would be at the center of the wheel. Okay, so what is that magnitude? Well, it depends on, on the tangential velocity. But notice that the velocity of the belt is the same everywhere. We're assuming the belt doesn't shrink and it doesn't uh, stretch. Okay, so it's the same tangential velocity at every point on B and on A. And so the acceleration, the normal acceleration on A then, would just be related to that velocity but with a different uh, radius. So this would be two and a half feet uh, per second squared divided by 1.25 inches times one foot per 12 inches. So the inches go away and we should end up with uh, 
uh, feet per second squared. If you do that, you should come up with 60 feet per second squared. So there's the normal acceleration on A. Is it higher or lower? Well, it's lower. Why is it lower? Because the radius of curvature is higher. Think about it this way. If you had a wheel with an infinite radius, what would that look like? Well, that would look like just a straight line, wouldn't it? If this thing was an infinite radius, then the belt would simply be going off to the right. Make sense? And so it would have zero normal acceleration because its radius of curvature would be infinite. Questions? Did that answer your question? All right. Yeah, I have a 